Uh, welcome back to our class. Uh, today we are going to wrap up our Kandinsky trees. Uh, remember that Kandinsky had those pictures uh, where they had circles inside of circles. So we're going to be using uh, these circles that we uh, traced and then painted or colored, depending on if you use markers or not, uh, to create the look of our tree. So for right now, we don't need this sheet for a minute. We will need it in a minute, but just set it off to the side. Well, this is the one we need to focus on. Um, you are going to need a few items with this. You're going to need, obviously, your two pictures. You're going to want uh, crayons. Specifically, you're going to want black or brown, one of the two. Uh, you're going to want a glue, and you're going to want some scissors. Uh, we really don't even need a pencil. Uh, you could use a pencil to start off with if you need to. All right, I'm going to set this one off to the side because I'm going to focus on this first because I need to draw the tree, a trunk, and the branches. And I'm going to do mine in black. Okay, so uh, so it will look like a, a little bit like a silhouette. You could do yours in brown as well because they'll both work pretty well covering up over the crayon. All right, so a basic tree. We're going to want a tree trunk that goes to about halfway up the paper. But we're going to want the tree trunk to go into the grassy area. We don't want it to land just right here at the edge. And we're going to use basic rectangle to start off with. Now you could be doing this in pencil if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do it in uh, crayon. Then I'm going to draw a branch, a big branch going off. Uh, let's go about that far. Going off this way. Branch going off this way. Then I'm going to have a branch breaking up. Branch going this way. This is kind of like a basic Y tree because everything looks like letter Ys. Like that. I think that's pretty good. You're going to want four branches to work with. Then you're going to go in with your colored crayon and you're going to color it in. I need you to color really dark and solid, so it may take you a little while to do this, because what you're doing is you're basically covering up the paint. Now the paint will show through a little bit no matter what, um, but that's okay. and trunk done, I can move on to the next part. Uh, the next part is cutting out all of these circles. You gotta be careful you don't lose any because some of them are small. So this is gonna take me a while. Again, I'll fast forward through so you don't have to watch me cut out in slow motion. to uh, putting this all together. So you're going to need to figure out where you want the big circles first. Now, most of us only have three, which is great. that We don't need to have um, four because let me kind of explain. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to pick another circle to go inside, circle to go 
right side. Let's go to that side. And then we have this one take up that last spot over there. And then there, there, and yeah. Okay, so like that. Uh, and then I have one extra left over. And if you notice, it does hang off the sides of the paper a bit. So, and that's totally okay. Uh, you just have to be careful when we do the gluing. So this is how I, uh, I'd like to do one at a time. So first I'm going to glue the big one. Now I know that one part's hanging off. So I'm gonna need about four dots of glue. I'm gonna need one at the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom, and one on the side. I don't want one over here because I don't wanna glue it to my table. Remember, again, dot, dot, not a lot. Kind of hold it down for about 10 seconds. Now, the, uh, one thing you need to know is the glue will soak into the paper a bit and you will see it until it dries. So just be aware of that. Now, this sits in the middle, so I can do four dots. One, two, three, four. Like that. Hold it down. Okay, and then this one, probably three dots. One, two, three. And they're really tiny. And I'm gonna repeat that from here. So again, I'm gonna go through it kind of quick. Okay, uh, I would let it dry for probably about uh, half an hour to an hour before you take your picture, but you will need to take a picture of it and send it to me through Seesaw, and then you're done, and you have your own Kandinsky tree. All right, I will see you next week.